guys. I'm back for part three, as you can see. Right here, I really did mess that up. I'm not sure if you could see that or not. I, my arm hit it when I got done with it, but I'm sure you can see these other four that go with it. So I'm going to have to do this one again. And if I wind up messing it up, I have more tiles. So let's make this quick. See if um, I can get this done real quick and it actually be pretty or the way I want it. It's going to be pretty. I'm just looking for a specific design now. I want them all to match. I'm just gonna use this little spoon. And I did put a different light in here. So it's a miserable day today. Rain, 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 but it's okay. Put this light in here. Hopefully, this light will help you guys see a little better. Help me see a little bit better. Come on, bubbles. A lot of bubbles because I really had to whip some of this stuff up because I'd already went through everything that I had. And if you've seen the other two videos that go to this series, um, you will know exactly how everything is mixed. And this is hopefully the last of this dip technique. Probably should have got a smaller cup under here. I'm a little short. Let's try this little fella out. Maybe I can uh, see a little bit better. And I'm gonna try to be real careful about uh, Try not to make this a long video. Mm. So, get this ready. Really? <laughs> wow, still a whole bunch of bubbles trying to come popping. As long as I don't burn the paper. All right, let's see here now. I'm gonna try to remember how I put this on here to begin with. And I'm sure you remember the colors, the eggplant. I'm gonna just start in the middle. And I figured these spoons might be a little bit better. So this is not taking, wow, too, too long. That's a lot of paint. But that's okay. Hopefully I mixed up just enough paint. That's okay if we have to roll it over the edges. That's what I'm looking for. I want to make sure there's plenty because I, I don't really want too much white negative space. I'd love for this to go over my edges like you saw the last one. And I have lined them up. That's why a good, good thing about doing videos, even if it's just a log. Uh, take pictures if you can't video it. Take pictures when you... Uh, paint and then you will know what colors you have used and what order you use them in to uh if you're looking for somewhat the same um design close to it because nothing <laughs> it's impossible to make an exact duplicate unless you've taken a photocopy of it um it's always uniquely one of a kind <laughs> uh, like I said, if this doesn't work, I just have to scrape it off and do it again. But I'm trying to not. Ooh, I'm gonna try not to make this video too too long for you. And who knows? We'll see. I uploaded the other one to this yesterday, and for some reason, it's not showing up yet. I'm not sure what that is. You might wind up getting to see this before you get to see the other one with the smaller four by four pieces, which are right at the bottom of this video. And I truly, truly love those pieces. They're so beautiful. 
And uh, finally, I mean, my resin has been here, but I was waiting on a heat gun. And lo and behold, my lovely neighbor next door decided, since her heat gun came in first, that she would uh, let me borrow it. And thank you so much to her. Um, then I can uh, start resining. Of course, I won't be able to resin this one until it's dry and set. But I do have more that I have been playing around with and uh, they're not on a video, but I'm thinking about going ahead and doing a vit resin video so you can see some of the work that I've done off camera and then show you how to resin those pieces. This is an awful lot of paint. I think I put too much pink in there. But it's a lot better than the little teeny tiny sticks I had. So. I had to thin my white out a little bit. It was just starting to get too thick. And the only thing I thin it out with, guys, is just a... A t just a touch of uh, water. Just a few drops will do you till you get it all to the right consistency that you're looking for. And all of these should be the same consistency. And you don't want um, want them to uh, kind of fall into each other. Wow. I need one of those, those teeny tiny itty bitty spoons. They're just so adorable and cute. They look like they come with, they look like those spoons and stuff that you get with the little tea, tiny tea party sets. Um, but I will be looking for those soon because some, you know, sticks just, at least the plastic, you'd be able to rewash and get all the stuff off of it and reuse, reuse, reuse because sometimes the little sticks that we use you can only reuse them but so much and if you wash them then they will fall apart Ooh, quite a bit there and when i get quiet y'all it's just because i'm concentrating and trying not to put too many on here too much on here wow these aren't even bubbles. Those don't even have cells right there. And no, I do not have a cell activator in here because that's really not what I'm looking for right now. But I will be doing a video soon. I am going to attempt the bloom technique. <laughs> Good luck. Um, it takes a lot of people who have taken her class. It just takes a lot to um, try and get it right or get it to what you want. And I do know that, you know, it's called the bloom technique, but it won't be mixed exactly. It won't be exactly like hers because everybody works with their own stuff and everything the same thing i have to stop so i can get my thoughts together everybody has a different way and a different recipe to make that beauty happen when it comes to that technique i think that's what i wanted to say this time without tripping over my tongue but um I think this is good. I need to make sure I've got plenty, which I'm sure it will roll over the sides. Um, I just want to make sure that this corner is covered here. You really, 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 really want to make sure that the older color is covered. And I'm sure it'll push its way out when I go to dip. Okay, 
I think I'm gonna also try this. You don't have to use um, the uh, saran wrap, cellophane, whatever. You can do this with a paper towel, and I'm planning on trying one with a paper, blah, 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 with a paper towel. I don't know what it is today, guys. It's like my tongue keeps getting in the way, and my brain does not want to say what I'm thinking. I don't know. Oh, come on. <sighs> come on, lay down. Oh, man. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> you could tell that's a lot of paint. I had a big bubble under there because I didn't lay it down uh, the way I really needed to. I'm just having a day. It's okay. We have those days all the time. It's my turn today. You really want to lay this down and pat it out, making sure everything is touching without air bubbles. Um, like the big pocket I have in here and right here, actually. Which will make things look a little different. Let's see if I can't get this big, big pocket out of here. And I am slowly but surely getting everything um, down below that I need you to see down below, like my Facebook page, Etsy, um, PayPal, if you want to fund me, um, and my, my, uh, craziness here. All those different, um, things will eventually be in the bottom. I didn't want to wait any longer on doing a YouTube channel. I've been waiting for three years, and I realized, just like everything else, why wait? You're going to wait and wait and wait and wait until you don't do it. Well, here we go, guys. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I think I'm seeing a problem already. And I hate to say that because when it comes to tiles, you probably don't ever want to put one over the other because I can see all the way around the edge way it's pulling the other ones up off of that uh, porcelain because it's a shiny surface. Let me um, pop these bubbles I'm seeing here. Wow, it popped right into beauty. Okay. <clears throat> and I did not put on my gloves. So far, I'm still kind of clean, but in about two, two seconds or Two shakes of a, what is it, a lamb's tail, I think is what I used to hear whenever I was growing up. Um, either way, in about two shakes, it's going to be very, very messy. Wow, it looks like a butterfly before I do anything. It looks like a butterfly with three wings on either side. That is so pretty. And I'm going to be so disheartened if the sides peel up the way they, the way it's looking. Oh, that's so pretty, guys. I think I'm going to have to do another one just um, just to uh, make sure these sides don't go wonky on me. Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to lose that one completely. But a little help, it never hurts. These tiles could be so hard to hold on to. But that is just, just, I'm loving it. Kind of don't want to overstretch, but I, I do want it to come off the sides because I want it to be matchy matchy, guys. Matchy matchy. Okay, 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 okay. Back we go, back we go, back we go. Back we go. Okay. 
Come on. That's a lot of stretching, but it's still so pretty. I know I feel like I'm stretching with it, right? <laughs> okay. Mm. These are so slippery and so hard to hold. So, so hard to hold. Okay, okay, okay. Might not want to go this way. I'm going to lose that pretty piece. And it's still rolling. I got to get this turned back. Okay. I can get that little fingernail in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have some issues with the sides peeling. And if they continue to peel, I guess I will break my own heart right here and see if I can pull them up. And that'll really show you what not to do when you're doing these. Don't go over the other ones without scraping. Mm. Okay. I'll keep moving this from side to side. That is so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Let me get it to slide back a little bit. Kind of in the middle a little bit more. I don't know where these lines came from right there. I really don't know where that line came from. Slide it back to the center. There is quite a bit of paint on here. And you know what? I think I have decided, even if it wants to come up, I'm going to see if this will hold um, because I just got to see if it's going to hold. I'm a little fearful. Yeah, I'm seeing that right there. Can you see this, guys, where it's starting to peel up? I'm really not happy with that. The only true way to know is to take it. So pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm going to see if this will move. Yes, it will. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to break your heart. Because when you have a pretty piece like this, and you try to go over it on porcelain, this is what's going to happen to you. And I'd love to cry, but uh, it wouldn't help any ma any anything. Look at that. Gone. Just gone. But I may be able to hold on to that for a skin. But you see what just happened. Completely gone. So when it comes to trying to paint over a pre-painted porcelain piece uh guys here's proof in the pudding don't do it just don't do it don't do it um it's just gonna be a messed up piece and a waste of your time and probably a broken heart because that we both saw how beautiful that piece came out right but then you saw i just pulled it right off that simple and it's okay if I wasted paint because now you can see that you want to make sure your piece is clean. If not, that's the disaster that can come with it. Complete disaster. Okay, let me get more paper towel. I know I said I didn't want this video to be a long one, but I really, really think what you just saw is imperative. 
that you know once you do these pieces like this and you go to uh, cover them up, just covering them up is not good because if you sell these pieces, you'd be able to see all the pieces popping up on the side. And even though you would want to coat them in resin, you still have a mess. And you can see on the sides, clearly there was a mess. So now that I got the stuff off the sides, I've scraped it off the sides and off the top. We're gonna try this again. Hopefully we get this done a little quicker here. And we can get something just as beautiful. You never know. Sometimes. Things. Might be even prettier. I don't know. That was actually a gorgeous piece. So I don't know how it would be prettier, but wow, guys, it, it was it was beautiful. But like I said, it's it's just it's really it's heartbreaking because now you have to go through the whole process all over again because the precautions in the beginning weren't. You know, you didn't have the. I didn't have a completely clean, empty tile. I just went over the top of another one. Disaster. And I'm really trying to make part three not a disaster. Um, I know this will, it'll thin back out, but I see the bottoms of some of it. I really want to make it even. All right, here we go again. Let's try to get this, uh, Get this going one one last time. You never know in this shape it might come out looking like a butterfly with the wings, the three little wings. I may have to try to do one since that other one looked so much like it. Just put a couple big globs and have the centerpiece in a row, you know, just take out these and do a butterfly. Then I probably wouldn't even have to stretch it. But my whole thing with stretching it is I want them to uh, match these other tiles. I hope this time I'm putting enough paint down. But the purple, if you watch the other videos, these are all three to one Floetrol paint. Um, it's eggplant, magenta, turquoise, and a, a light pink is all I'm gonna, just light pink. It's a nail polish pink or something it was called. And I'm going to try to make sure I put all this in the description below. It will eventually get there, guys. If it's not there, it'll eventually get there. Like I said, I'm, um, I've got to learn that as well. And even though this, this time that we're going through, either way, you still have to learn. You still have to grow. Just because you're home, you cannot become stagnant. That's not good for, not good for you at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, wow, that was a lot of pink. And I'm not sure if one of the videos um, I did a little rant on one of the videos, and I'm not sure if, um, it still has to be put up or not. 
uh, or if I, it's probably the one, one of the ones I skipped over. But I was, did a little bit of ranting because it's just crazy how people want to be during this time. Um, in the very beginning, you know, the craziness on let's hoard the toilet paper, let's, you know, I mean, there was even fights breaking out. Seriously, come on, work together. And I, I kind of thought it was funny, but, you know, like you will find out, I am a very opinionated person. And with this, kind of thought it was funny. Everybody is hoarding toilet paper and come to find out now they're trying to give it back. Well, you know what? One thing you might not know about me until I say this, I am an extreme couponer. Absolutely love it, but I'm not going out there and uh, if I don't have to go out, I'm not going out. It is what it is. I'm not going to. And it's not because I have so much stock here. Because as soon as this started to happen, not even a week, it was just a day, people started going nuts and taking all the toilet paper and stuff out of, off the shelves and, and all this and that. And I opened up my stockpile. You know, I'm not, I didn't charge people like even store prices. And I thought, you know, I could, I don't mind selling this to you guys. And either way, you're getting it a lot cheaper than the store. And some people have their opinion about that, but, you know, I did pay for it. So I'm not going to give it all away for free because I don't have money like that. Most people do not. So there you go. But I did give it at such a crazy discount. And it disappeared. It's fine. You know, we had, I had shop owners, store owners um, come by because they couldn't get supplies for their own place. It, they it, You couldn't get them. It was all sold out. So I had a wonderful lady come by that had grandbabies out of state. And um, the grandbabies and her children couldn't get what they needed because people were acting the way they were acting. So I told her, you know, get a set for each child and get that stuff shipped. Them grandbabies need, you know, need to have that uh, toilet paper and, and hand sanitizer and cleaners. And before you knew it, my toilet paper, my paper towels, my cleaners, all of it was gone. But you know what? There's good people out there that needed it. And I had it. So, there you go. And when things get better, I'll go back out and do what I was always, that I always loved to do. That's pretty. I'm not going to stop this here, however. No, I love my art and my painting. Um, but I also love my couponing. And if that coupon, and I help people with that couponing. And if I can help people, then I'm going to. That's my nature, and that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm not gonna go out there right now, look how pretty, and wind up making myself sick or bringing it back into my home and making my husband sick. That's just, granted, he's one of those that, whoa, has to be out. You know, he has to be out in the workforce. Get that to move. Um, he's got to be out there, but both of us being out there, really, I don't have to be out there. Like I said, I love my couponing, but guess what? It can wait. I also love my life. And I'm not trying to give that up, you know? I still got grandbabies I wanna go see. 
Because even I understand my grandbabies are in a different state. And so are my kids. Whoa, almost dropped it. <laughs> and I miss them dearly. I really do. I can't wait to get back up there to see them and spend time with them. But we can't risk, we can't risk that. And I really hate it for those who have lost so much. Lost so much during this. Look at there. I know I just got quiet immediately, didn't I? I do that. <sighs> Holy smoke, can you, can you see that? That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Let's see. Let's wipe my sides. Beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. So, if you messed up the first, if I, which I did, I made a beautiful one. I stuck my finger in it. So when I had to move it, I wound up messing it up. Then redoing it, I need some white here. Then redoing it, I messed it up again. Why? Because you don't put things on top of them when it comes to porcelain. And now, that has a lot less negative space, but I feel it goes just fine with it, with the pieces I have going on there. Let me try to wipe some of this. Let's see that paper towel. Try to wipe some of this off my hands. Um, I know a lot of times bringing you in for a close up. I don't want to make you dizzy. Um, heck, I might as well just take them off. Okay. Bear with me. Hopefully I don't make you dizzy. And try to slowly bring it down. Spin it around. No dizziness. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I haven't even torched it again to see if anything else comes up. Those blend a little bit more because the... Um, my... Uh, you know, little dabby dabs. Where I was putting the paint, my little pillow, my little pockets didn't have, um, they weren't as big, and I think that's why. Um, let's see if there's anything else that pops up here. I guess not. There's a lot of turquoise in this. And I do know someone who loves turquoise. So, we shall see. There you go, guys. I think I'm going to leave that one as is, which I could probably watch. You're, I know you're going to tell me, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. But I'm kind of wanting, not wanting it to be so. Together, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I'm fiddling with it, and I probably shouldn't. <sighs> Which, I think I'm going to tilt that around a little bit and blend that back in. But, there you go. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.